in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up uh, your own digital storefront. So think of uh, alternatives like Stan Store, etc. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, we're going to use High Level here to build out just a basic website, basic store. And originally, this was used for mainly e-commerce uh, products, but I figured out how we can use it for digital products now. This is we're we're, we're having a few assumptions here. Um, if you already have, if you already have high level, great. Um, if you already have, you know, any white label version, like I'm using a white label version right here of high level, um, it it doesn't it doesn't matter at this point. So um, you can get more info down below. There there will be links down below to where you can you can get your uh, free trials, and even you know get get uh, get started right away. Uh, so a couple of things we have to keep in mind uh, as we go through this is that uh, you will need to have some sort of product already in your site. So if we come down here to payments and we go over here to products down here, we just have a couple right here. I, I threw a couple of my uh, digital products in here. And as you can see, there's our passion for profits, uh, my, our digital course, and then a, um, a, an AI guide. So just a couple of products here. This is fine. It uh, doesn't have to be crazy fancy. Uh, you can have as few or as many as you want. But uh, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to move me up. I'm going to move me out of the way here. We're going to come down here to sites. Now that we're ready to go, we'll go to sites. We're not going to create a funnel. We're going to create a website. And let me move me back down. We're going to come to website here. We're going to do new website. We're going to click on this button. We're going to do blank uh, my website. Whatever, it's going to be a blank website. Okay, we're going to say create. And then it's going to go through the process. You can either do this or use a template, but... For all intents and purposes, we are simply just creating a basic website. Uh, we'll say uh, home and then path. We'll just say home. Uh, we'll just say new page. We're just gonna. Th this is gonna be a blank page, just for all intents and purposes. Um, we're gonna do create from blank, and then here, here's where, here's where the magic happens, right? As far as the e-commerce side. So what we are going to do is come right over here. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to try to move this out of, out of the way. Can I move this out of the way? Yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to move this over here. All right, so you see right here we have store. We're going to click on this, and we're going to create an online store. As you can see right here, it even says everything you need, sell physical and digital products, and you can accept online payments instantly, and this is going to come in really big. So I'm going to add to site, and it's going to create an entire layout for your store so it's going to configure the components it's going to add you know add the, the necessary pages and i'll take you back and show you what that looks like and so as you can see right here boom we have basically a store now i don't want you guys to be misled here or get confused right here these right here all these components right here this one this these are just placeholders okay these are literally just placeholders they, they these are products that are not added to your existing storefront this is just to show you what it looks like and as you can see right here, we can actually go into a products list. We can manage our products. And uh, I want to take you through and show you what that looks like as far as, you know, how do we get our products to show up. So let me let me go back here. And as you can see right here, we have home, we have products list, product details, cart, checkout, thank you. So this is the sequence of operations as far as when people go to your store, they go to your products list. Uh, so we're going to come back to payments. And we're going to go over here to products. And then let me go into this one, Passion Over Profits. Okay. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to this product right here. And as you can see right here, this is how we make this work. Okay. This is how we get it to show up in your online store is you just check this box. Uh, we're going to assume that you have everything else set up, like your pricing, any variance, you have your, you know, receipts, any coupons that you have. You have all that set up. Okay. Uh, if not, you have to go through and set that up manually. So we're going to go back to our sites section here. Let me go back to it. Oh, let me move me out of the way. Let me go back to sites. And then we're going to go over to websites again. And then we can see my website. You can call us whatever you want. I'll just do it for demo purposes. I'm just going to go here. And then, of course, we come back here, edit. Um, you do have the ability to modify and put your logo. So I'm going to throw my logo in here just... I'm going to say, I'm going to find my logo here. I'm going to scroll down, down, logo in menu. Uh, you can actually choose to have your, not have your logo in menu, or you just hit that, hit that button right there. 
Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to I'm gonna actually come over here and I'm going to pick a logo. Let's pick my logo right there. Perfect. And we'll just say um, business name. We'll just say Chris Miami, whatever. Um, and then, of course, you want to keep this home about contacts. You can keep these or you can take these out. So if we just want to have you know a cart here, we don't even have to have a cart. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just take this and we'll delete this. Let's say we don't want that. We don't want about. We can delete that. Okay. Uh, I can leave the home there. That's fine. And then we can make the font size as you know large as we want. If we want to do that, or you can just delete this whole navigation menu altogether. That is up to you. Now here is the product section right here. You can actually have padding here, um, and then choose your color. Uh, you can choose like the price discount color. Maybe I want that to be red, or maybe I don't want it to be yellow. Green's good. Uh, that's good. Maybe we can say blue because blue is my brand color. So we'll just go with that. Um, background color. You know, if you want to have a background color, that's fine. Uh, you'll have to adjust all your fonts. Uh, so this right here is just—it's just literally showing you what this looks like. So now, if I hit save, close out of that, and then I hit preview. What's going to happen is it's going to show me a preview of the site. As you can see right here, there's a little cart there. There's the option I took out. As you can see, my two products that I have listed inside of my high-level account, Passion Over Profits, AI Digital Domination, these are both digital assets, right? And that's why I said is like it doesn't have to be a physical product with the e-commerce, right? Um, it, that's where it started. It started when they started because they were really expanding on the e-commerce side. But now we can have our digital products right here. And, of course, if I click on one of these, let's say I click on Passion Over Profits right here. Uh, it literally pulled in, as you can see right here, it pulled in all of my descriptors, all of my characteristics from my product listing inside of payments and then the products. And then it has the description right here. And of course, the other condition is that you will already have to have a payment source added, right? You need to have some sort of payment source connected and integrated. Whether that's authorized.net, NMI, Stripe, PayPal, you have to have something hooked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. And you can modify this, right? You don't have to say add to cart. You do not have to say that. So we can actually go back and we can actually click on, I believe it's advanced. No, where is it? Is it a general? No, that's a different page. <laughs> okay, that, that, is, that is a different page. That is the next page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. And then we're going to go to product details. I'm going to say edit this. Of course, right here, we can actually, um, if, if there's no capacity or color, we can actually take that out. We can take that. We'll do a buy now button. Okay, we're, we're going to do a buy now button, and then we can choose the color options. Uh, we, you know, let's say, let's make it, we can make it red. Let's make it red. Uh, we're going to make the text uh, buy now button color. We're going to make, we're going to make that. Uh, the buy now button board, that's the border color. Okay, we're going to make this black okay because i want it to show up right it's the buy now text color button and then uh what we want to do right here is we want to take that out and then we don't have we don't have a capacity or color that's not a thing uh that's actually those are variant options that are over in products i can actually show you that looks like i'm actually going to save this and then i'm actually going to do that i'm going to go back if i actually if i refresh this page this will change so if i refresh this see how it took off the add to cart option, it changed the color, the the the, the button, it changed the the border, it changed that, and then it's just buy now, and th that way we don't have to add to a cart or anything like that. We're literally just buying right now. Um, your headers, of course, you can see right here. You want to customize this on each page, and if you need to have like any sort of uh, disclaimers, legal terms, you need to put those at the bottom as well. Uh, you do have full reign to customize this page. So, um, let's see. That's product details. Of course, there's a cart. You don't have to have a cart. Um, you don't have to use a cart. It, it stays there. Um, you can't. You can't really do anything about that. Of course, we can come over here to checkout. We can edit the checkout page, and then say we want to put in. We have different information here. Um, you know, if you have shipping details, and of course, there's make payment right there. So, like, if I bring this up. I'm actually going to move me out of the way here. As you can see, there's nothing in my cart right now because I did not click the buy now button. Uh, that that shows up right here, and of course, there's no payment information at the bottom. That will show up once you have payment integrated. Now, the cool thing is, and let me show you, uh, let me show you my store. Okay, I'm going to go over to a working, I'm going to go to a working um, store here. Let me move me down. Let me go back. I was in my media library, so let me go back. 
uh, let me go to sites and then I'm actually gonna go to websites and I'm going to go to mine and then I'm going to go to my products list okay I have a few I have a few extra products so you might have seen something similar right there uh, that was a demo this is a live this is my live store okay so if you want to buy something let's say you wanted to buy a passion all right we're gonna click on this we're gonna do buy now now this is what's really cool right if you have this configured and this is all done within stripe so we have our product here we put your email address in here right here this is big guys this this is really big so you could actually offer buy now pay later options so you have this right here you have a firm after pay depending on your region Klarna you can do that as you can see right there you can offer different payments that's what it looks like they're your payment options or you can just do a straight card this is how you can get this or even PayPal if you have PayPal integrated uh, so that's how you can make this all work you have to fill in all your blanks uh, fill on information and, or your customers gonna fill out all the information and then you hit buy and so I would recommend you test this out first uh, stripe if you use a stripe stripe does have a test uh, payment that you can use uh, to fill that in right here I think it's four two four two four it's all four twos and all that um, you can do all that and then make up you know make up the rest here to you know, set a expert in the future security code all that uh, so that is the checkout page and of course we have our thank you page so I just wanted to show you guys what a live what a live uh, store looks like and of course you can take out uh, you don't have to have coupon codes right here you can take out take out the uh, take out the coupon codes uh, let's see I don't think that's here um, let's see let me go down oh it is here okay um, let's see coupon codes we'll just remove that okay we'll remove coupon codes um, you can set visibility on mobile or desktop and of course you can see what it looks like on mobile here is what here is what it looks like on mobile we can scroll down as you can see that's what it looks like on mobile so you can adjust this as needed there is the desktop and you do have a lot of options as far as like padding goes so let's say I don't want any padding at all I want to take out the padding I want to or maybe I want to add more padding maybe I want a gap maybe I want to insert something at the top right maybe I want to add a an image like my brand image at the top you can just add that right you can click the uh, and click the plus sign right here and then we'll just say let's see let's come down to image and then what we'll do let me move this we will actually come down here and we can actually move this up so let me move this out of the way move this over here and actually just move that up and as you can see I put your image right here so let's say I want to put in my image upload from media library and let's say I want I want to do this okay as you can see and then I can make it smaller so say 300 because that was too uh, the, the original default was way too big for this so uh, there's just a couple of different a uh, couple of different things you can do inside here. Don't forget to save and publish your changes. Let me just do that, and then you can see what it looks like. Of course, I have, like I said, I have no items. I have nothing in my cart because I didn't go through that specific uh, part of it. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just close that, and then we'll go back right here. And then of course you can have a checkout page. You know that was your checkout. You know, there's a checkout page we showed you guys that and of course here's the thank you page so you can edit this if you have specific instructions or you want to tell people what to do um, you can add you know you can add objects here we can add elements just like you can on a funnel uh, it is a website so and again this right here don't get so hung up on this okay these are placeholders okay these are just placeholders they will not be showing they're not products that have been like added to your store or anything like that uh, they they just they, they will show up just that way you can get a visual on what this looks like and if I go here I can say I can change the width I can say full I can say small so if I want it to be like a smaller like yeah you know, I want the the confirmation window here to be smaller um, you did that that's fully customizable as well of course if we want to take this out we could take that out when I element I want to add a headline that says thank you for your your purchase and I'm gonna add another element uh, let's see let me do that save this, save this screen for records your email check junk job <laughs> All right, so just just a little example right here. Of course, there's a thank you name right here. So you know there there is that element right there, 
and you say purchase details and you say continue shopping tags you can also you know they can continue shopping if they want you can take them uh, that'll just take them back to the take them back to the first page of the store uh, so let's see that's that right there uh, there's really nothing else let's see if I want to do a box shadow I want to do that maybe I want to do a border style maybe I want the border style to be different maybe I want the corner radius to be 16 or I can move that up so you do have some options right there so you can play with you can play with the border colors maybe I want the border to be red I don't know uh, we're gonna save that but uh, yeah that that is that is how you create that is how you create an, uh, an online store in in high level whether you're using a white label version like this or using your own version it, it does not matter um, the, the process is still the same, right? I think this will help out a lot of people, especially if you're creating digital products or if you're creating high ticket products and you wanted to have a storefront uh, to be able to send people to a page. And then, of course, you can have, you know, ha have the buy now, pay later options, pay, but you have all the different payment options within here. So this is a separate site that operates independently from your funnels, through your emails, anything like that. So you could actually send people to your store and configure your automations or your marketing you can configure that accordingly but in the end this is just how to set up a storefront you know that way you don't need to have like a separate stand store or have anything like that uh, you could do it all right here within the software so this is like literally the the purchase portion of your digital business so if you have any questions uh, drop them down below um, head over to wherever wherever you're, you're watching this um, you can you know leave a comment, ask a question, but um, there there'll be more information down below for you to get started. So uh, thank you, thank you very much for checking this out, and hopefully it was helpful to you guys. And uh, um, if you guys have any more questions, drop them in the comments down below. There's going to be a link if you found value in this for a 30 day free trial of High Level, so you can get started for 30 days right now. Uh, just click down below. And I'll be more than happy to hook you up with a 30-day trial so you can do a test run of this. But, uh, yeah, that, that's all, guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Let's go.